Good morning. It is currently 8.52. I'm at work. It's day 12. And I'm just gonna work now. Um, yesterday I posted a story on my IG and I said ask me some questions so I'm gonna answer them on the video but I didn't get many questions I got more like statements <laughs> this one says can I bring you flowers sometime Um, yes, you can bring me flowers. I love flowers. Um, I don't know. I guess, like, you can send them to my job? Yeah. Yes, you can bring me flowers. I love flowers. What's your biggest goal? My biggest goal right now, I, I think I'll always have goals that continue to evolve in the way that I evolve. I guess, like, right now, my biggest goal would be to, number one priority, is to get my own apartment and preferably in a different state that's my biggest goal if we're talking like my main priority right now my my next message says lol throws lamp i miss you damn it <laughs> okay this one has a story time behind it one of my oldest friends we well me and her together we just were crazy i'm crazy on my own and she's crazy on her own so together we're just like crazy times too we're at my older sister's apartment and for some reason <laughs> we just got like crazy giggly And you know when you're with your friends, y'all you know, just get giggly and y'all start laughing for anything. So we were like pretending to be frustrated, going around the room like pretending to knock shit down. <laughs> we were like, ah, ah. we were like, oh, like when you're with your homies and like you say a joke and they build on that. Pretty much that's the backstory. We, our inside joke is we like will pretend to throw shit, we'll pretend to flip tables, we'll pretend to like yank ceiling fans from the roof. Like, ah. <laughs> that was stupid. Was so funny. Like top. 10 funniest moments of my life. And I miss you too. I miss you so, so much. And Emery looks beautiful. You're an awesome mom and I love you and I'm proud of you and I miss you. This is the next one. Make a video thanking your mom for how beautiful you are. She blessed you. <laughs> All right, so mom, if you're watching this, thank you, I guess. <laughs> thank you, mom, for passing down your jeans. Thank you, dad passing on your jeans but they say I look more like my mom so thank you mom a little more um yeah people say me and my mom look alike if I look like her I'm very grateful for being able to look her she's beautiful my next message can I get them digits sure my number is <laughs> um another one hi crybaby Ed hi another one just a rose This is the next question. Are your lips natural? <laughs> um, they're naturally expensive? They're not natural, y'all. So, I um, got my lips injected in December. So December, January, and March. Three months. They last like six to nine months. I don't know. I wanted to get them injected. And they're very expensive so my face probably is like more expensive than your whole outfit or your rent sorry no shade though the next question in my inbox says i love your style i i really appreciate that Ooh, i love your style i love your style my next question in my inbox could we talk sometime 
know I'm just so shy with meeting new people like I feel like awkward and I get nervous the creepy BF let's connect all right let's connect my next question oh you're cute you're so cute remember when we used to talk on the house phone for hours <laughs> yes I remember we used to talk for so long we were in high school and I would just be like dying laughing the craziest thing was like the craziest part I remember about those conversations was we were like best friends like we talked about everything but you would tell me like you were gonna die at a young age and I would always be like stop saying that and keep it on me we're in high school so like he was like no nah, I have a feeling I'm gonna die young like I was what like don't fucking say that i remember your long beautiful hair my next question is my favorite question it says hey there i appreciate the opportunity to go deep with like-minded souls if you don't mind me asking was there a defining moment juncture or peak meaningful experience that shifted your life in the direction life in the direction of spirituality okay so this question was really deep my journey to spirituality has been I'm assuming it's not supposed to be a journey that you can just kind of like be done with but there's so many moments there's so many moments that the universe has like slapped me across the face and, and has made me like grow and learn a lesson unfortunately i do feel like i've had to learn things the hard way i don't know why but i have i feel like the only way i was able to learn things was if the universe punched me in the face sometimes literally <laughs> There were so many moments, a lot of these moments that, that shifted my like life in the direction of spirituality was 